Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. I am going to solve this problem 1295. In this problem, it is said that the basketball passed through the hoop even though it barely cleared the hands of the player B, right? So here we have the player B and this is player A, right? So it is said that neglecting the size of the ball determined the magnitude VA of the initial velocity, right? So first we have to find the magnitude of this VA and the height H of the ball when it passes over player B, right? So first and then we have to find the height H, right? So we have to find this height H when it is just above this player B. To solve the projectile motion, first uh, we have to define our uh, coordinate system, right? So if I define my coordinate system, so let's say that this is my origin, right? So the initial position of the ball is my coordinate system origin, right? So let's say that this is my positive x and y direction. Let's say this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction. And the initial position of the ball is at the origin. So this means that the initial position in the x direction is 0 and initial position in the y direction is equal to 0 feet, right? So first uh, we will solve this problem in two parts, right? So first we will find the VA, right? So first we will uh, apply our equation for this trajectory, right? From A to C, right? So first we will apply the calculation of the uh, ball motion from point A to point C, right? So first uh, we need to find the coordinates of point C according to this coordinate system. So what will be the coordinates of this point C? So this point C is 25 plus 5 feet away from the origin in the x direction, right? So if we write the coordinates of this point C, so it is at a distance of 30 feet in the x direction and it is at a distance of this much distance in the y direction, right? So this much distance is this 10 feet minus this 7, right? So this is 3, right? So this means that the final coordinates of the ball at this point C is 30 and 3, right? So now if I apply the horizontal motion equation, right? So if this is our positive direction, right? So this means that 30, right? 30 uh, let me write the whole equation first, right? So this will be x equals to x naught plus v a x into t. So the x coordinate, the final x coordinate is 30, right? So I will write 30. Initial coordinate is 0, right? So this is 0 and v a x is v a cos of 30 degrees, right? So theta is given, right? So this theta is given which is 30 degrees into t. Right, so this will give us VAT product, right? So if I write VAT will be equal to 30 divided by cos of 30 degrees. And now if I apply the vertical motion equation, right? So then we will have Y equals to Y naught plus VAY into T minus half GT square, right? So the final coordinates of this point C is 3 that is y is equal to 3 right so this y is equal to 3 and y naught is 0 right so this is 0 and v a y is v a sine of 30 degrees into t and this is minus and if the units are in feet per second right so all the units are in feet right so we will uh, take the g value as 32.2 so 32.2 divided by 2 is 16.1 t square so now we can write that this is 3 and sine of 30 is 0 0.5 and V A into T, right? So V A into T is equal to this thing, right? So we can write it 30 divided by cos of 30 degrees, right? So this is the product of V A T is equal to minus 16.1 T square, right? So uh, this T uh, from this equation, we will get this t and this t will be the time required for the ball to reach this point C, right? So we can write that this t will be from A to C, right? So we can write that this will be T A C, T A C, right? And similarly here, it is also T A C. 
So now let me find this TAC first. So this TAC comes out to be 0 0.943 seconds, right? So now we know this TAC, so we can find VA by using this equation, right? So let's say this is equation A. So by using this equation A, we can find VA. So VA will be equal to 30 divided by cos of 30 and divided by this TAC, right? So this will be, we can write it like this. So this will be 0 0.943 or we can write this uh, 0.943 here as well, right? So 0.943 cos of 30. So this VA comes out to be 36.73 feet per second. So now we know this VA, so this VA will remain the same for both the cases, right? So now we can find this height H, right? So now if this is the point B, so what will be the coordinates of this point B? So this point B is at a distance of 25 feet in the X direction, right? So we can write that this is 25, right? And if this is the origin, so then this height from the X axis is this height is this h minus this 7 right so this height is h minus 7 so we can write that the y coordinate of this point b is h minus 7 right so now again uh, we can apply the horizontal motion equation but this time this x is equal to x naught plus v a x into t but this time we will use the x coordinate of this point b right and this time will be from a to B right so this X is 25 X naught is again 0 and this is VA so now we know VA this is 36.73 right so this will be 36.73 and this will be cause of 30 degrees and this will be TAB so this will give us the time required for the ball to reach this point B so the time required for the ball to reach uh, point B is 0.786 second, right? So this is the TAB. So now again we can apply the vertical motion equation. So we can write that y equals to y naught plus v a y into t, and this will be from a to b minus half g t a b whole square right so now the y coordinate of this point b is this h minus 7 right so i will write h minus 7 this is 0 again and this v a y so v a y is 36.73 sine of 30 degrees and this time we know this t a b which is 0.786 right so i will write 0.786 and this will be g 32.2 divided by 2 so this will be 16.1 tab is 0 0.786 whole square and if we bring this minus 7 to the other side so this will become plus 7 right so this will give us the height of the ball at this point b so from this uh, h comes out to be 11.48 feet so this means that the ball at point b is at a distance of 11.48 feet from this ground right so this is the solution of this particular problem